This is the tallest and biggest tree on this hill, standing majestically overlooking hectares and hectares of all palm trees around it. It takes more than 10 people to form a human chain around this Kapomera tree. Also fondly referred to as the home tree in the sci-fi flick Avatar, it stands right in the 100-acre woods. After travelling 3 hours by flight and another 4 and a half up and down winding hill roads, we arrived at IJMP's Sungai Sabang Estate in Sugut Sandakan, home to the 100-acre woods. There are nearly 2,000 workers in IJMP's plantations in Sugut. The 100-acre woods is one of the conservation projects that encourage stakeholding and ownership among the workers. The 100-acre wood is one of the centre of excellence. All the areas that we have acquired for our plantation are already gazetted for agriculture. Now it's meant for agriculture. That means you can plant oil palm throughout the whole thing. Now, now the question is that, what do you do with some areas that you cannot plant with oil palm? You also want to plant it? Or you want to say that hey, maybe this, let's leave it for restoration, let's leave it for conservation. So this is where we took a view and uh, with uh, thanks to the, uh, our board has been also very, uh, very supportive. No? And this is where the 100 acre wood came into being. La. Manicured pathways at 100 acre woods connects the orchid sanctuary to the arboretum where hundreds of tropical rainforest tree seedlings wait to be replanted at low lying areas and riparian reserves. Along the path, nearly 150 species of medicinal plants are planted. Thirty years behind them, IJMP not only has impressive high yield but also well thought out sustainable and conservation projects to showcase. This, its MD and CEO, Mr. Joseph Tech, has attributed to their three proponents of people, planet, and profit. We cannot talk about social and environmental sustainability and CSR if the company is not profitable. I think the basic notion is that the company must be able to sustain itself monetary, financially, that it can continue to also share. Next to the 100-acre woods is the largest mangrove forest in Malaysia. Even though it is not a property of IJMP, the company is socially obligated to preserve it. It is hoping to develop a corridor for animals to travel to and from the 100-acre woods. Uh, the biggest threat for the mangrove forest is actually the, uh, the troller. Oh. So when the trollers come in, they, they are using the pukat, pukatarik and then they just pull the net along the river. So by doing so, they will actually destroy the riverbed when they pull the net. Mm -hmm. Then uh, eventually the net will pull all the fish including the baby fish and so on. Even though the small one, they cannot even survive in the river. The pursuit, the endeavour that we have in sustainability is that there's no one right answer or one wrong answer or this is the right thing to do. Because uh, there will be different levels, it depend, depends on your site specificness, the resources that you have, and of course the commitment and the leadership or the kind of direction given by the top management and directors. Beyond this 100 acre wood, I mean, it's, it's small, it's 40 hectares against what we have planted. It is just to manifest, to portray, and to continue to remind us that more can be done, more should be done. The tree one day may, may die, but it's a constant reminder for us, it may age and so on, or disease and so on. Along the way, we have to see how we can find a balance. Mm -hmm.